you need clearance, you set the bow in and you. So if you already own a nice big bar pipe clamp like this, I'll show you how you can make a nice bow press for free. So the majority of people only really need a bow press maybe once a year. Maybe you need to adjust your peep sight or put a twist in the string and you don't want to buy an $80 bow press. So what are your options? Number one, you could try using ratchet straps. I would highly discourage you from trying that method. It's not safe, it's not good, you can uh, cut your string and there's no good way of releasing it. It just pops loose. So that's not a great idea. The second method is there's a cheap $20 uh, bow press online that uses wires and a screw where you're tightening the screw down in the center and that's um, forcing those limbs in. From what I've read, that's not a good option either. It doesn't really seem to work. This method is great for somebody like me that already has a nice big pipe clamp like this. And when you buy a clamp like this, you're just buying these two end pieces and then you go to a place like Home Depot and you buy this steel pipe and you can buy this pipe in any length and you mount it on here and you have a really good uh, pipe clamp. One side note is you could buy these cheap clamps at like Harbor Freight, these little bar clamps. It wouldn't work with this. You need something really heavy duty like this one inch steel bar. The only other thing you're going to need is some scrap wood. You can either use 2x4s or uh, plywood. Now, I've seen this, this method where they just use one 2x4, and I was a little weary of all that force on just a single 2x4, so I did three layers of 3 quarter inch plywood. So let me show you what I made. So here were all the different pictures I saw online of people that had made this type of bow press. So I took three pieces of this 3 quarter inch plywood, and I made these two blocks and I cut a little notch out on the end and that uh, aligns with the angle of the bow. This is just a one inch hole that fits over the pipe. So let me show you how it mounts. So you can also see this notch here, and that is uh, when you put the bow in, you need clearance for your cams. So that's what that uh, notch at either end is for. You set the bow in, and you just tighten it up. So right there it's snug, and you just keep going nice and smoothly. Here's what I'm talking about when I'm saying the angle. Um, so these limbs come down on an angle. You have to cut that board so it sits in there nicely. It gives a little ledge to rest on. Put padding so it doesn't mess up your limbs at all. And uh, another thing is I had a little, on each one of the ends of these limbs, I had what looked like a little rivet or a pin. I actually drilled a little hole in there so that limb would sit flush with that board so it's not all, all the force isn't on that pin. So you want a nice, smooth, uh, gradual amount of force applied on the ends of these limbs. I also put a little bit of felt, I just glued some scrap cloth on there so it's uh, nice and soft on the end of the limbs. One thing I didn't understand um, when people were describing it, they said make sure you put a ton of grease down at this end. And I thought, why is that? And now I realize, when you go to loosen that one end, the wood will be binded and it won't loosen up. Your clamp will loosen and pull away from that board, uh, but you don't want it to just snap open. So people have put a ton of grease down at that end. I didn't have any grease, but I just use a hammer. And what I do is, you can see it's loose now, the string. And what I do is I just loosen it a quarter turn, tap with the hammer, and that'll knock that board back tight to the clamp. So quarter turn, tap the back, quarter turn, and just keep doing it. And you can take the bow out. So again, a lot of these homemade bow presses don't work because they're trying to be cheap and they're trying to use cheap materials and it's too lightweight. With this, you're starting with a heavy pipe clamp that can take a lot of the force. And then all you have to make are two of these little blocks. Um, it couldn't be simpler. It's really sturdy. I have no issues with it. Um, and one other thing is, I've noticed a lot of people will um, drill and mount this with screws to the board as a permanent fixture. I didn't really like that method. It's not necessary. Plus, I like to be able to use this as a clamp, so I'll just take this off, put it in a bucket, and when I need it, I can pull these two out. 
So let me know what you think. Thanks.